A piece of equipment that is commonly used in a laboratory setting, particularly when dealing with bacteria, is micropipettes. Throughout the course of this experiment, you'll be using two different pipettes that transfer different amounts of liquid. For example, the P200 is good at transferring small volumes, ranging from 20 microliters to 200 microliters, and is used with the smaller tips. The P1000 transfers larger volumes, ranging from 100 microliters to 1 milliliter, and is used with the larger tips. It is really important that you handle these pipettes with care, and use them properly so that they don't break. The proper way to hold the pipette is shown here, with your palm wrapped around the handle of the pipette, leaving your thumb free to maneuver between the control button and the tip ejector. Before putting the pipette into the test tube, you must first get a pipette tip out of the tip box. This can be done by opening the tip box and pushing down the pipette onto a tip that will then lock into place. Make sure that as soon as you are done opening the tip box and retrieving a tip, the tip box is closed right after to ensure that the tips remain sterile. When pressing down on the control button, you may notice that there are two separate depressions. This is really important. The first depression is used to take up a very specific volume of liquid, and it is crucial that when you are taking up the liquid, you push down on the control button and only go down to the first depression, then slowly release the control button, which will in turn allow the liquid to enter the pipette tip. Once you have the liquid into the pipette tip and are ready for the, to transfer the volume, you can slowly push down on the control button to the first depression, and then push down further to the second depression. By pushing the control button down to the second depression, we are ensuring that all of the volume that we gathered is being pushed out of the pipette tip and transferred into the new media source. Once you have finished transferring your volume, the tip that is on the end of your pipette can be ejected into the biohazards waste bin by pushing the ejection button with your thumb.